Once the jab is established, the back hand comes into play. The right hand for an orthodox boxer. And it can end a contest instantly. Thank you and good night. Oh, what a good shot. Right hand, that might be it. Whether delivered straight, overhand, or as a hook, the backhand's power is generated from the turning of the hips and the transferal of body weight from the back foot to the front. I'm Ola Falabi, world-class cruiserweight. I'm going to show you how to throw my overhand right hand. Hey, oh, what a punch that was! That's a finisher! Basically, I just I try to set it up with a jab and draw the other guy in. Sometimes I could just go over his jab. So what I do basically is I dip and go under his jab, and as soon as he's committed, his chin's exposed. So I come over the top, and I just push all the way through from my hips and my shoulder and connect on the chin, and hopefully that'll do the job. When I miss, I look ridiculous, but when it connects, it, it gets the job done. Basically, what I do is I dip, and I turn into it. I just bring the whole body. Everything has to come as one piece. You can't turn your hip and then go, or you can't go and turn your hip. Same time, just, and just throw it in. Yeah, you just want to imagine you're punching through the target for two different reasons. One, if you throw and you miss, your shoulder ends up covering your chin. If you don't go all the way through and you stop here, somebody can counter you with a hook or a right hand. So you make sure you punch all the way through his face, drop and just go all the way through. Most of the time I don't even look at my target because I know he's going to be there if you do it quick enough. So he jabs or you jab, you draw him in, he jabs and you just drop and just throw it straight. And if you land there, you got it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terrible Tim Witherspoon, former two-time heavyweight champ of the world. You don't want to mess with me. Hi, I'm Derek Sweet D. Williams, former heavyweight champion of Europe and the Commonwealth. And I don't want to mess with Tim Witherspoon. I'm going to show you how I knocked out Frank Bruno in 1986 Wembley Stadium. All the British people was mad at me for no reason. Put a lot of emphasis on that right, on the right foot, and bending and leaning forward, but not letting it go away from your face when you're delivering. Don't do this. Do this. In. Inwards. Not this. You still probably can hit them, but you get more power with it being close to you. Plus, you're blocking a punch. If you if he deliver a punch, you're also blocking that punch. When you're throwing it, Right? You just turn like that, but when, and you're releasing it, right? Okay? But you're not doing this. You're just like hooking it in. Hooking it in. It is a long one. You still hook it, but you bring it like that. Okay? Sometimes you can jab here and get him to commit and let, and let it go. You can go like that and whip it, okay? And, um, and um, well, most of the times you, you throw it through the crease. When your hands is up, if his hands is that low, he's out of here. But if it's up here, sometimes you can just land it in like that. Land it in, boom, just hook it right in between there. Or you can hit him on top of the head, anywhere from the head down that line. You hit him, it should work.